Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Karen. It's back to school season, guys. I know, it's already August. I cannot believe it's already August. Probably wondering where your summer went. Well, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I'm trying to bring some fun back into school by bringing you guys a colorful look, but something that is still very muted and still very wearable and everyday. So if you guys want to learn how I created this look and also how I did my hair, keep watching. Oh my God, I'm getting so many snap questions from you guys right now, like my phone is just going off. That's good, I'll get to you guys. It's gonna be a really long school day, especially when you're in college. It's really important before you put makeup on your face, you start with a moisturizer. And this one actually works as a primer as well. So it doubles as two in one. And this moisturizer feels really great on your skin because you can feel that it like immediately sinks into your skin, but it's not an oily texture. It does have like very nice medium matte finish. Pretty happy with this. Oh my God, we're matching right now. Michelle designed this glam bag. So if you guys get it in the mail, you're getting a one of a kind design for Michelle. So I'm gonna start with concealer. This one is by Too Faced, the Born This Way Concealer in Light. And then when you're putting on concealer, you kind of want to do it in this triangular shape. And the point is coming from inside the corner of your eyes. Okay, so I know beauty blenders are super pricey. So the one I'm using today is from Bugashi and it's a fraction of the price. It's not as soft as the Beauty Blender, but I swear it does the same thing when you start blending things out. If you ask me, the main difference between the Beauty Blender between all of these different brands is that the Beauty Blender is softer, but the quality of how your makeup looks on your face looks exactly the same. It really doesn't matter what kind of sponge you're using. It's just your preference, whether if you like the sponge to be softer or a little bit, it gives you a little bit more give. I'm gonna cover up my pimples I think these are stress pimples. This is just for the sake of this video, but I know in college you don't always put foundation on, but I'm just gonna do it for this uh, look. This one is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Two good pumps on my hand, and with the Bugashi sponge, just pat that product all over your face. I really like this foundation because a lot of people, when they see me, they always ask me like, oh, what do you have on your face? It looks so dewy. This is a guy. If you have dry to combination skin, I recommend this foundation. And if you're the type of girl who don't really want a full coverage, but if you're the opposite of that, then this is not your friend. I'm not gonna go too deep into priming your eyes. You guys already know that. The one I'm using today is from Too Faced and is their shadow insurance primer. So the look I have today is actually inspired by Pony Makeup. I'm sure you guys already know who she is, but if you don't, go check her out on YouTube. She's so cute. So this is the look. It's very sweet and innocent. It has a little bit of freckles on the nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. I'm gonna do my eyes just a little bit different than that. You're gonna look so bomb your first day of school. I'm gonna go ahead and start my brows. So we're framing my face first. I'm gonna be using is a benefit precisely my brow pencil. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to shape my brow first. So I'm starting out with framing the bottom of my brow and see where the arch ends. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start framing the top of my brow. And then connect the shape. So I'm gonna deepen the ends of my brows with this pencil first because you always want the end of your brow to be the darkest. And then you do light in the beginning. So it has creates a nice gradient. I'm gonna stop it there because this is where I want the darkness to end. The Shu Uemura Hard Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil in number nine. And this is like a charcoal gray color. It's called Hard 9 because you don't get much pigment off of it immediately when you first use this pencil like that compared to this one right here. You get way more pigment here. But the reason why I like using something that's a harder pencil, it gives you more control and also allows you to do a more light hand application at the front of your brow so it doesn't look blocky. All right, so I'm gonna pop the other brow on and answer your question on Snapchat. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> username. <laughs> Kawaii Spice. Kawaii Spice asks, tips on starting your first year of college. I actually made a full video on 10 things you need to know before you start your freshman year of college. So I'll link that video in the description box below. Watch it please because I've asked four of my cousins who are and brothers, sisters who is in college right now. And these are the tips that they gave and I cross-referenced it with my own experience. So they're pretty legit. Most of the colors will be from the Too Faced Totally Cute palette. We're gonna start with 
putting double scoop all over my lids just to prep the area with powder. And this way your makeup will stay way longer. Remember guys, we want to make the makeup last as long as possible since you are gonna be at school for like eight hours of the day. When does school start for you guys? I used to start at 9 a.m. because I was on a block schedule in college. I mean, high school, high school. So like on Mondays, we only have three classes, but each class is like two hours long. It's a college. I know it was terrible, but we didn't have to do homework every day because of that because the homework on Monday will be due on Wednesday instead. I want you guys to see this. This is the inspiration I got for the eyes today besides the dripping uh, pink part. I, so we're gonna start with putting pink on the lower lash line. This is the I Love TF color and the brush I'm using is from Makeup Forever in the color or in the number 210. So we're gonna just place this color on our lower lash line. But I'm going to aim the product on the outer corner of the lower lash line first because we're going to be doing something a little bit more golden and shimmery on the inner part. So this is a bronzer, a three-tone bronzer from Beauty Basics, but I'm going to be using this middle strip color right here. It's this golden color. This is just to give your eyes a little bit more dimension so it's not all pink all across. And we're gonna be doing some golden colors on the top of our lid, so we kind of wanna pull the two colors together. I am actually loving the shade from the Beauty Basics Bronzer Pit right here. This is the Luxie 211 Concealer Brush. And now just place this golden color all over your lids. And then now I'm gonna take the Nomad Spice Market color. This is a beautiful, rosy, metallic color. And now I'm gonna be taking a blending brush, but it's a, a stiffer blending brush. It'll give you not such a solid color. So as you can see, it warmed up the eyes just a little bit better. When you blend those two colors together, you get a new, beautiful color. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. And I'm gonna answer a question. Ali with Three Y's, zero two one seven. How old are you and when did you graduate college? I am now 26 years old. I graduated college like two years ago. So when I was 24, I took some time off in between to figure out what I want to do with my life. And now I'm sitting here. And how was your high school experience? I'm going to ninth grade this year. Was it easy, difficult, fun, or horrible. So ninth grade for me was clearly a long time ago. It was really cool because you actually got to meet a lot of new people and also bring some friends that you grew up with since middle school. Now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush from Sigma E40. I've literally said this in the past all makeup videos, but this is my favorite brush. I'm just gonna blend all the product out so it's a softer, smokier look. Now, I'm not going to dramatize it like I normally do. I'm just gonna leave it looking very soft today. So as for eyeliner, it's a tight line. This one is from Rodeal, and it's a smoky eye pen. So this is actually a coal liner, which means that it gives you really, really thick black color and lines, and it's also really smooth and blendable. Now I'm gonna take my trusty old Sailor Moon eyeliner, and I'm just gonna give myself, not a wing liner, it's just going to wrap and hug the natural curvature of my eyes. So I'm stopping right here because I wanna show you how I'm gonna do the rest of my eyeliner. I just wanna drag it out here, like longer to lengthen my eye shape. So there's a guideline, I'm gonna close it up. This username is Flower Irish. Flower Irish asks, what made you decide to enroll in the college that you went to and why did you decide to apply to that college? So speaking from honesty and personal experience, I, for some reason, thought that I was really smart in high school. I didn't know anything about applying to college because I am Gen 1 and going to college. My parents never been to college, so they had no idea what to do with the application process. So all I did was, I was like, well, I know for sure I want to stay in California because of the tuition. It's cheaper for me to do it here. And I was like, well, I'm really smart, so I can probably get into Berkeley. I only applied to five of the best UCs. That was really dumb. Don't do that, please. <laughs> you see LA, you see Berkeley, you see Irvine, San Diego, and Davis. And I was such a snob. I was like, yeah, Davis is going to be my backup. 
So that's the school I went to, and that's the only school I got accepted into. So that was like a reality check, a slap in the face. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm not that smart. <laughs> this is called the no wing wing. It's a wing that's down. It's a resting wing. I have plain, oh, these are plain wings. Plain wings. Pla plain wings, and then normal winged eyeliner is bird wing because they flap and they go up. Getting back to the makeup tutorial. We are going to set our face up for some freckles right now. I'm gonna be using the orange color, Bunny Fufu from Totally Cute Palette. I'm gonna be using the Pure Cosmetics Blush Precision Brush. I'm gonna be dipping it into this color. It's a little bit difficult, but you can do it. And I, I really like this color for that overall kind of sun-kissed look. So that's exactly the orange I want. So now I'm going to just lay it first, like right here in the crevice between your like your nose and your under eye, but not where your eye bags are. This is where your eye bags are at. You kind of want to do it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that right there. And then over the bridge of my nose and then drag it back up. You can use anything that has that really nice neutral brown undertone to create the freckles. I'm gonna be using my brow pencil. I'm just using my brow pencil in different variations of pressure all over my nose and my face. I'm gonna pull it pretty far out this time. Drag it all the way out to the side of my cheeks. And then to avoid it looking too brown or too black looking, just tap it. Such a cute like school look. Oh, and people are gonna probably ask you the first day of school if you come up like this. Like, when'd you get freckles? I keep getting that when I first started doing it. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you had freckles. That's good enough. Next, I'm gonna be using the Japonesque Velvet Touch Blush in shade 02, and it's a very nice, rosy, muted pink color. So it's not competing with the freckles that we just applied. We're also putting it up here just because we don't wanna compete with the sun kiss look that we have going on there. So as you can tell, the payoff for this blush is actually pretty good. It's a very natural color. It looks like you woke up like this. And now we're going to set everything here with a powder. The one I have is from my glam bag. Look how cute this is. It's a really good travel size powder. This is from Winky Lux and it's their diamond powder. And using the Bugashi sponge, I'm just gonna go like that. Just press it underneath my eyes. So don't forget your T-zone. This powder is actually really fine. It gives you a really flawless look without looking like you have powder all over your face. That's something that I constantly try to avoid, so this one's doing pretty good. I didn't set my cheeks, so we can still put highlighter on there. I totally forgot. The one I'm using today is from Milk Makeup, and it's my favorite at the moment. It's their holographic stick. It looks like a deodorant stick. <laughs> Some people have been telling me that, but it feels really, really sturdy, and the color is just amazing. Look at that. Blend it out just a little bit. Put it on the tip of my nose too. Give it a little bit of a bump. Okay, as for lips, I'm going for something a little bit more shiny. I love anything with an orange tone. This makeup look particularly though will look good with some orange lips. That's a little bit more toned down. And you'll see what I mean with this one. This one is from Jill Stewart. Their packaging is so cute. It also has a little mirror right here and it's like a flower. Anyway, I always go with something a little bit more moisturizing for school because your lips do get dry a lot. Actually, before I pop the lashes on, I'm going to put mascara on them so they stick together easier. All right, so I'm going to crimp my lashes so the fake ones and the real ones will blend together. These are super duper natural. And in the look by Pony, she her lashes were really perky. So I'm gonna try to do that as much as possible and then pop on a layer of mascara. I'm gonna lengthen it now even more with some mascara. If you guys decide to recreate this look, even not for school, just like, just for the hell of it, please tag me. You can hashtag it at I am Karen o and I will find it. There we go. So we're gonna do this in sections. I'm gonna start curling my hair, grab each section, but in larger sections like this. And I'm gonna start by going like this and turning my heating iron. And now we have a soft wave. So you can be pretty messy with this because in a minute, we're gonna be doing something else with the hair. I'm gonna take the second layer. I'm gonna go like this. 
So work on that layer. Just kind of keep going. Oh, and if you guys are wondering who does my hair, his name is James, AKA Miju. His Instagram is Dear Miju, but you can find him at Miju Van Salon. I'll link it in the description box below. I trust him. I've, I've definitely been to salons where they fried my hair. You guys have witnessed that. It's bad. So after coloring my hair for the past like two years, I have to be really picky who I go to nowadays just because my hair is really mad at me. It looks kind of mane right now. I'm going to do a half updo, bring some hair to the front, some bangs, pull it as tight as you can. And what this will do is kind of give you a minor facelift because you're pulling all your hair up and tight. We're gonna grab one of these headbands. They're actually like headscarves, but they have wires in them. And there are two different ways that you can look super cute in this. The first one is quite the obvious. You're going to wrap it behind your head like so. After you've wrapped it around your head, go ahead and just tie it. This is really simple. And then you can adjust the bow. So here's look one. So this is the second hairstyle and it's the same thing except in a different pattern. And then we're just gonna tie a knot at the back of our head and call it a day. It's so easy. Pull some hair in the front and then I'm just going to stretch out the headband. So here is the second look with a headband. You can just put it right in the front of your head and you got another look going on. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you guys like this video, you know what to do, leave a comment below. Let me know what videos for back to college you like to see. I have one in mind called back to school closet essentials and it's going to be a checklist of items that you should be bringing when you're a freshman in college. So that video will be coming out sometime in the future. Keep your eyes peeled and tell me when you start school. So have an idea when I should be really pushing these videos out there for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.